Hey guys, welcome to your third Objective-C tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to go over a little bit about integer variables and some mathematic operations you can use. For starters, an integer variable is just a variable with the value of an integer which is 1, 2, negative 3, any whole number. Um, so basically how you declare an integer variable is you type in int and then whatever you want your variable name to be. So I'll make mine int i. And then to give i a value, we just type in i equals and whatever we want it to equal. Let's say 15. And in order to see that i actually did get that value, we are going to make a, a little output that says i is equal to, then we're going to type in percent i and then i. And this percent i right here just tells this output that there's going to be an integer in this place and this tells us which integer. It's going to be integer i. Let's click run to see what happens. Yay, build succeeded. i is equal to 15. There we go. i is equal to 15. Pretty nifty. But let's do a little math with these variables. So we'll say we have three integers, int i, int j, and int k. i is equal to 15, j is equal to 3. And we'll say k is equal to percent i k. And in order to make k actually worth something, we'll type in k equals i plus j. Don't forget those semicolons. K is equal to 18. Awesome. You could also change it up and put a multiplication symbol or subtraction. 15 times 3 is 45. Or subtract it. 15 minus 3 is 12. And let's divide. There we go. K is equal to 5. Awesome. Now let's say j was equal to something like 4, and we tried to divide 15 divided by 4. We'd still get 3, and that's not what 15 divided by 4 is. But the reason we get that is because these are all integer variables, and in order to get a, a correct answer, we can't use whole numbers in this situation. So for this, we'd have to change our variable type from int to float. And float is just a variable that can hold decimal places. So we have to make all our variables float variables and change this instead of, because we're not showing an integer anymore, we're showing a float variable. Instead of percent %i, we make it percent %f. And now it shows us exactly what 15 divided by 4 is equal to. So if you don't want to use a float and you're dealing with even bigger numbers, Double is another variable type, which has twice the range of float. All right, let's change these two. And when you're dealing with doubles, instead of percent %f for float, you can either type in percent %g or percent %e. Either works. See, percent %e shows this value right here, 3.75 times 10 to the 0. And then percent %g shows 3.75. So while they both work for double, percent %e is when you want to have uh, basically a, a really big number. And percent %g is when you want it rounded off a shorter number like this. And that should just about do it for the little numeric variable tutorial here. Um, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.